Hello my loves, I am heading to an event right now and it's in the Ivy so I'm gonna park I think in St. Stephen's Green. I'm excited to go to this Nivea event. Um, I'm, I'm a bit under pressure. I went and got my nails done this morning and that was great. Like I got them done and everything but now it's kind of like getting late in the day and I'm delayed and what's new. I love my nails actually because they're real enough festive for the autumn season and also I'm not used to having stiletto nails anymore but they're short stilettos so they're not too bad but anyway I'm going off to the event for Nivea today so we're having a late lunch at a quarter past two and then we are having the event tonight at six so I'm hosting the event I hope like this traffic just eases up Codal and we're playing here at the end of last month I wish I kind of knew that I would have went to see them there's just so much going on with moving into the apartment they actually played the night that we moved in. So that would not have suited. I think the Blossoms are playing in the Olympia um, this month as well. So I must look up tickets for them because I'd love to go see them. I know my sister likes them as well so she might avail of coming to that with me. Oh my god, traffic is so heavy. Come on! This is why I hate driving into town like but I just prefer to have my car than dealing with public transport. And then also I'm leaving late as well tonight. The event is very, very close. Like it's on Harcourt Street, so it's really close to where I am parked. I have no idea what I'm trying to say. Just right beside Kevin Street. I remember going to my lectures there. How fun. Brings me right back. Sometimes I wish I was still in college. Is anyone else like that? I just wish I was still studying. I love studying and learning and everything. It's so much fun. Like I want to do a new nutrition course as well because obviously nutrition changes so rapidly. I need to do a new one just to kind of update me on all the new developments. Although I'm always like reading up stuff and looking at articles. This traffic is stressing me out now. Like, hurry on, hurry on. Um, I'll chat to you guys when I'm actually parked because I'm just gonna be sitting here in traffic talking to myself and it's absolutely no benefit to you guys whatsoever or any fun at all. So I'm just at the Ivy now and I'm gonna get run over by the Lewis or a bus. So this is it here. And I'm just having lunch right now. Very exciting. I have a hairy arm and yeah. a use my I use my missus. Guys, this is so cute. Look. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Yes. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Cleanse like a pro. Oh my god, look at the flowers. Oh, this is the perfect photo opportunity over here. Is there? Oh wow, okay, that's that's cool. Yeah, love that. Wow, this is really intimate, it's lovely. We're here guys, it's so exciting. Look at the angel wings, aren't they so cool? Like if I was actually like when you look in the mirror, they actually are behind you. But it's so cute here. The girls have done such a wonderful job. The PR have like just made this place look insanely gorgeous and I'm super excited for the event and I just I've never been in Vanity X before but it's actually the cutest little place ever it's really intimate I'm real personal and it's really private and stuff and it's just really nice so it's like a little intimate setting here and I'm really excited to be hosting representing Ireland to ask him Lauren and Elizabeth questions so I'm really excited about that. Obviously you would have seen the professional range on my beauty channel like the vlog that's probably going to be up by now as well but yeah it's so exciting so pretty and 
I don't know, it's lovely here. I'll just bring it around a little 360. Out here, look, you can see the angel wings. I'm too short, but they like are behind you. How cute. There's little flowers here and all the range. And then up there, there's loads of flowers and just the lighting and the whole theme of it all. It's just gorgeous. And they've all the Nivea products here and down here as well. So they've got the Urban Detox Mask, moisturizing one, which I kind of want. <laughs> And all the other like my cellar and stuff like that and then they have the micellar skin breathe obviously that's the big big bottle that I'm always talking about I love oh my god I didn't even realize that my nails kind of match how cool and then the wipes and stuff that you guys have probably seen a hundred times on my channel because I'm obsessed um I don't know what these are for perhaps there's going to be like little nibbles coming out but these are so cute little little serviettes and then Welcome to Nivea My Salad Professional Launch. Some more Nivea stuff here. And then we have some more hanging up here as well. Well, it's all very pretty. I love it. And I love these little pink chairs with the cleanse like a pro. I want these. I want a vanity like this. This is just so pretty. <laughs> all right, Elizabeth. <laughs> And Lauren, <laughs> what are you guys going to be doing today? Oh, some very exciting things. Cleansing like a pro, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you can get quite a little fallout shadow underneath, cotton bud, and the makeup remover for the eye. And again, you just clean up the eye and wipe it away, and that's how you can get a really clean look. And even the same with eyebrows, you know, if you make that little mistake or go a bit high with one, cotton bud this yeah. and just remove it and you know it's not leaving that grease residue you can just go in and apply again yeah. so. and also if you've got a client who's maybe a little bit nervous about having their makeup done because sometimes you know they are a bit like oh you know yeah if you, if you do make a little mistake they won't even notice that you've made a mistake you know it's so yeah. quick and simple um, yeah. and also for quick changes if you had an eyeliner on and you just want that flick off yeah, it's totally. Yeah. Dog down and eyelid kind of. Yeah. It's known for its anti-inflammatory properties, so it's great for all skin types, especially sensitive skin. Um, and I was talking a lot about this actually. Like the change in seasons is a really good time to look at your skincare and make sure that your skin is getting what it needs. Especially like now we're going into winter, and your skin tends to dry out and going into heating. <coughs> but this is like an all-year-round product. You know, it's so gentle and so easy to use that you don't need to worry about that because the micellar technology just gently lifts away the makeup. So it's not interfering with your skin at all. It doesn't dry the skin out. Hey guys, so I'm done with the event and I'm walking home, well not walking home, walking to the car um, because I obviously am driving. The event went really, really, really well. And it was so nice to meet Lauren and Elizabeth again. I'd met Elizabeth there in June and I met Lauren last year and it was just really yeah. nice to work with them again and see Paddy and everything. It was just really, really nice. It was a great event, really intimate. There was a couple of magazines there, photographer. It was just a really nice little intimate event and then I got another bag full of my favourite, my cellar skin breathe and I'm really excited to go home and cleanse my face. I feel like my makeup's been on all day and I'm just really excited to take it off. So yeah, that's basically it. It's just eight now. So it's still early, which is grand. And uh, yeah, the traffic was really bad coming in because there was like a protest going on for the housing crisis. Um, so I'm out of breath. Oh my god. Um, right, okay, so I'll chat to you when I'm in the car. Um, I don't think I've anything else to catch us up on. The event was just really lovely um, and I just had a great time and it was just lovely to be part of it again and to be asked by Nibia to be at the event. So there you go. I'm home guys and look what I came home to. Not only did I come home to John fixing up the place but also I came home to something else. Something else. I came home to flowers. Isn't he just the cutest? And also a Terry's chocolate orange for no reason at all, but just because I'm so perfect. Isn't that right, John? That's right. <laughs> oh, they're so pretty. And my mum got me other flowers as well. So now I have to get another vase for these. These are actually in a spaghetti jar, as you do. So pretty. Aww. Right now I'm gonna have some tea. 
some Terry's chocolate orange and watch some Netflix. That just sounds perfect. I'm having tea and just had some Terry's chocolate orange and I'm gonna finish watching a movie I'm watching and hit the hay. I hope you guys had a fab day. I will talk to you all tomorrow.